Good morning, Fizz fam. You guys probably already know, but guess where we are? So you're gonna open up the curtains. There's literally a button to open up the curtains. Goodbye! It's literally every day waking up to that view. It's crazy. Look at all the people on their boats outside. You're right there, bro. I'm half asleep. <laughs> Thing about here is obviously we're still sort of like adjusting to the time zone, so it's like. <laughs> So right now in the UK, it's like probably 4am. Like Good morning, Fizz fam. Well, that was the first bit of light what has just hit my face. So I thought I'd try to actually say hello the second we wake up. I have just been and brushed my teeth, but I wanted to catch everyone else just as they're waking up. So we are here in beautiful Dubai. There is the Dubai Eye or Ain Dubai. And then we've been playing a little bit of like musical chairs with the beds. So basically we've got two rooms, Mia and Sienna and Carl were in the other room and then me and Georgie and Koa were in this room. But as you can see, there is a double bed over there and there's, who's in that bed? <laughs> it's Karma and Koa and Georgie. It's a double bed. I've been sleeping like this all night just hanging off the edges of my neck aching. Oh dear. And then this bed was empty. That did have Koa in it. And then I'm over here on the sofa. <laughs> I've got a bed here. But anyway, it's comfortable, it's nice. So, the first thing I do every single morning. Good morning, Nana. Good morning. I feel like she's finally actually awake now. Yeah. So, kind of. And I'm going to splash my face with water if I didn't just say that. I don't know. My brain doesn't tend to function at this hour. <laughs> Look at the new this member of our family. <laughs> we won him yesterday. Well, Dad won him. We haven't actually come up with a name of him. So comment down below what his name should be. I'm gonna drink some water. Cheers. So what's the first thing we're gonna do then? What do we usually do when we first wake up? Can you remember, Connor? That first. No, before <laughs> that. What do we do before that? Toothbrush. Yeah. Kara needs a little nappy change. Don't yeah. No, I don't know. He's <laughs> grumpy. It's because in the UK it's probably about 5am, isn't it, right now's hour? It is 8.40 here, which is 4.40 in the UK, oh. yeah. We did go to bed early, like they went to bed at like 8pm Dubai time. So Mom, it's, yeah. Cleaning the room. Oh, good girl. Like she's remembered what to oh, do. Oh, well done. That's amazing. Yeah, so over here. Do you want to show the Fizz fam the little button that you just pressed? Which one was it, camera? For the man to press. Here's you press that, and then the mouse can clean the room. That's right, exactly. It's all kind of digital. But this is to strap them, that to not clean the room. Yeah, so that is the room. That's the do not disturb, isn't it? So uh -huh. we have that on at night time, and then we have this on in the morning, don't we? To say yeah. that it can be clean. This curtain closed, curtain open, temperature up and down, lights on and off. Basically, we need to. Don't come too close to my face. Well, what, what do you want me to do? You're the one just laying there. Basically, I need to clean my teeth and get ready and wash my hair and do my makeup. Yes, boss. I don't like what basically my face just looks so tired. I don't want anyone to look at it. So I'm going to transform myself. What's really cool as well, obviously in Dubai, and we've got this amazing view, is we can see, let me open this. Over here is a landing strip, like a runway there. So we actually see the aeroplanes land. If you guys remember when Mia did skydiving when she was 15, when we were living in Dubai. And so that is actually the runway where the planes take off and land from. And then you see the parachuters all going through. And then we've got like the jet skiers out and about all around here and all the boats getting started first thing in the morning. So it's always really nice just to see like all the action taking place and it just makes you feel really motivated for the day. Airplanes are really cool because when they're really high up in the sky. If you wonder why she's looking that way, look. And then, and then they can jump. Onto the floor. That's right. You're watching yourself be a presenter, aren't you? Do you like your reflection, Carmen? Beautiful reflection. <laughs> Beautiful. Right, let's brush our teeth, yeah? Right now, if you're wondering why it sounds so weird, it's because my brace is out and it's being cleaned right now. But yeah, when I first had it in, it made me sound weird. But now, because I've gotten used to it having it in, now it sounds weird without. I like to choose my outfit now. I'm honestly not sure what to wear. Ah, uh, Mum said we like gonna look around the shops maybe or go to no or was it go to the beach so as usual after looking at like 50 different outfits after looking at my first choice of this dress I decided to go with the first choice this dress what about you let's decide. let's 
size. We've got lots of different tops and stuff here. So I might end up with one of those. Let's see what's hanging up. This top? Yeah. Oh, I love that. Yeah. What about them? Um, do you have any uh, denim shorts? Would they go? I'm not sure. I don't have denim shorts. Oh, no. I might not wear that, actually. <laughs> No, I'm not wearing that. I'm going to save that for like if we go to like a big mall or like on a photo shoot or something. Yeah. I might wear this dress because I've never worn it. Or I've also yeah. never worn that top. But oh, wow. Um, I mean, really what about you saying your shoulders getting well, I'll burned? just wear a jacket. <laughs> okay. Keep out. Um, okay. What's the matter? <gasps> Quick, get the bathroom! <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna get dressed. I'll open the toothpaste. Why do we have to clean our teeth, Karma? First thing in the morning? Because our teeth are dirty. I need to brush your hair in the morning. Go and brush your hair. I think it's a bit naughty, isn't it, for being sweaty? In the end, she kicked me out, but um, I guess I did forget to get my swimsuit, but it's like still wet from yesterday, and I, I, I know I have other ones, but I really wanna wear it, so I'm gonna hair dry it to because it's like a little bit damp and I, and I don't want to wear a damp swimsuit. I had to wear a damp swimsuit yesterday. I don't know if this will work, but let's see. What did you say, Mia? Why are you drying your hair? I'm not drying my hair, I'm drying my swimsuit. <laughs> Guys, I like almost dressed it just with doing the back of my dress up. And then I heard Mia singing. <laughs> well, at least you know what she's doing right now. Yeah, so I just got all dressed in my dress and now I'm gonna drink a bottle of water. We have a nice supply here. Time me guys how long it takes for me to drink this bottle of water. Yeah, you playing with that? Yeah, I opened this for Karma. Oh, yeah, for that's Karma. Karma's you open let's open let's leave Karma. those for Karma then. Yeah, because we were actually at the fun fair last night, so we won like a load of those little token things, and they traded them in for those little toys, didn't they? What are you up to? Are you making a train? A house on holiday. Oh, that looks good. Is it comfy? Yeah? Bit hard. <laughs> yeah, it looks sick. Yeah, it doesn't look very comfortable. I love that song, me as well. Yeah, it's so good. Me and the fist fan really enjoyed it. Yeah. It's the best because I don't even know the lyrics. Right, now I need to do my hair and I'm going to go do my makeup, guys. But I can't do it in here because the lighting is awful. I always um, put this hair oil. I don't do it every day because I don't want to get my hair make my hair too greasy but i always put this hair oil in my hair and um you just put a little drip in and then or like maybe not quite a drip but like you just put a bit in and then it makes your hair like all nice and smooth and then i do it in hair claw well i brush it as well i do it in hair claw and then yeah all right i did my hair here's the finished thing it's not very good because um yeah i just can be both i usually have to take a few takes to make it look good, but I can be bothered to do that. Then I put lip balm on, because my lips get really dry with my hair. And then, then here's my Bond Point perfume that I got for my birthday. I'm still trying not to use it too much, because I don't want it to run out, but. <laughs> I'm gonna put my brace back in. You probably don't want to see this, because it's a bit gross. Karma and Georgie are having a shower, and me and Co have just built his plane, what he got from the fair last night. Should we give it a try, Co? Ready? Yeah. It flew. And then throw it like that. Yay! It goes in there. Yeah. Well, it's going to be shower time for you now as well, isn't it? And then me. Yeah. Okay, Mia's taking absolutely ages to do her hair. Oh, or makeup, sorry. You haven't even done your hair yet. It's fine. Oh, she's been working so long. So, right now I'm bored, so I'm just going to tell you my birthday wish list. I've written it down. And bear in mind, my 12th birthday is in September, and it's... February? I want the Diplica Scented Balm. There's like, yeah, it's like this perfume kind of brand. They have like these really nice perfumes. And then they have like these little tiny palettes. They look like one um, eyeshadow palette, but they're actually like, they've got this balm and then you like apply it to um, your like 
pulse points, I think it's called. And then there's also an off-white mesh top I saw in Selfridges once. It's like orange and yellow. I really want that. <laughs> I love how I'm like getting all the, I'm planning all these things like so, many, so long before my birthday, but that's what I do. And then I want matching dressing gown and slippers. <laughs> the thing is, if I don't plan it, like, if I come up with things that I really want for my birthday, like ages before my birthday, if I don't write them down in a wish list, then I'll, I'll end up forgetting about them. And then when it comes to my birthday, I'll be like, I don't really know what to ask for. I don't really have anything. So, yeah. <laughs> I've got another really fun thing to do. Let's just say no one tends to look at my um, like diary. So I'm going to show you guys. These are just countries I've been to. Oh, Tenerife, I should add Dubai. I kind of forgot. Right, yeah, I've been on a train, a plane, a car. I've been walking and on a bike and a bus before, but I haven't crossed this off yet. Um, it's because it's what you've done with that notebook. It's not what you've done in general. Ah, yeah, yeah. So that does make sense then. Ah, yeah, okay, fine. These are my drawings. That's dad, that's Koa. There, and then I've got people for my books, yeah. Here, <laughs> I don't actually show people this. And then I have those more really bad drawings. Then I have a meerkat. Karma asked me to draw a meerkat, so I drew a meerkat. I like doing vintage designs. And then, <laughs> okay, sometimes I just do stupid drawings, but yeah. These are Mia's drawings. Um, I was practicing doing painting like pirate scars because at Kids Club in Tenerife we were doing like pirate, it was pirate day. Yeah, let's just say that was a bit embarrassing. <laughs> but yeah, then I have this, I tried to draw a hand, it didn't come out very well. Yeah, I don't mind it. And then I did this nice little page. And then this is my Tenerife page. I brought my um, Polaroid with me. I also took loads of ones, like I took one of mum and dad, one of Kurt, and then one of um, me, me and Karma. But I also took this one, just for the view. And then there's a fashion kind of page. I've got a passion for fashion. Hey, that's the, um, that's the scent of the, uh, the, Balm perfume thing that I really want. But there's my Valentine's Day page. There's my birthday wish list. Oh, your I don't have a Valentine. Yeah, but that's practically it. Let me know when you want more of um, a tour of my secret diary. It's not you actually secret, but yeah. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. I do have one for Costa Rica that is like finished. Let me know if you want me to do that. I can do like a little tour of all my diaries and um, you can get to know all my juicy secrets. I'm more fresh now. I've done all of my makeup, washed my hair. I know that sounds a bit strange because we're now going to be heading to the beach, but I just wanted to feel all really good for today just because the last few days I haven't really been wearing makeup and I've just been feeling totally blurred just because of, um, well, not really getting a lot of sleep. So I feel really, really good today on holiday. Going to take loads of nice pics. So now I've got the task of trying to put Koa's sun cream on. I've just done Karma's and she's all ready. But Koa, he does not like it. So this is going to be mission impossible, basically. Koa, I'm going to put some sun cream on you now, boy boy. No! Yeah, you need sun cream on so we can go to the beach, Koa. Koa, come on, you cheeky boy. Go on, be a good boy. Let mummy do it. Go on, be a good boy. Right. This is exactly what I knew was gonna happen. Yay! Give it to mummy. Come on, come on, Koa. No, you mustn't hide it, Koa. That's really, really cheeky, that is. Come on. All right, so I'm gonna put some of my SBF face cream on his face, because sometimes if I put sun cream on their faces, that makes their eyes water, even if I get like super sensitive kid stuff. So this is one designed for the face. So this, no, come on, come on. It's gonna be a massage. Have you ever seen one of those reels, Fizz fam? There's this lady who massages her little girl's face. It's so relaxing and the girl looks all blissed out and she's just like rubbing all her cheeks and everything. They're really, really relaxing Mom, to watch. not my eyes. No, I'm not gonna, but it's not like the reality if I try to do that to the kids is they're screaming. Honestly, it's really stressful putting sun cream on. So sometimes happy. I feel like, like Darren's getting ready and then he's like, why are you taking so long? Are you ready to leave yet? I'm like, I've just spent 30 minutes trying to run around the room putting sun cream on. Are you all done? Well, we've just done the face. Now I've got to do the body and this is one which is a nice natural one, but this one is really, really good. It's a spray one and it sprays on all evenly. And I, what I love about this is that it doesn't turn them like chalky white. Now I'm going to do the rest of Cora's body and then hopefully we'll be ready to go and I hopefully near and Senna have even woken up oh, actually. I to check in on them. This finally! Uh, I'm now ready. Ta -da. Come on, I need to give a proper twirl, proper moment for the 
dress. Isn't it pretty? Yeah. Isn't it pretty? I just love really, really pretty clothes. That's like what I'm into at the moment. I'm asymmetrical. How do you not like pretty clothes though? No, but like, I mean like, like very girly. like feminine, girly with all like the bows and stuff. Oh yeah, I'm like obsessed yeah. with lace. Like, ah! Come on, let's go. Yeah. Warm and day. 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 Hello. Hi. Hi. Come in. Hi. Oh, are you guys Hello. ready? We're all, oh, pardon me, I just did a burp. Yeah, we're almost oh, ready. You two look nice. Thank you. Oh, you look so, like, peachy and something. Yeah. How did you sleep in your peaceful room? Was it good? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Was, I mean, it took us a while to get to sleep, but yeah. I'm going to take over yeah. this camera now. Okay. <laughs> it's me and Sienna are now with us, and we are going to do a little beach checklist check. One. We are going to do. One. Have you got your swimwear on, everyone, underneath no. your yes. clothes? Sort of, yeah. Are you no, covered? No. Modestly. No. Not really. Have you got your, your sun cream on you or your sun cream with you everyone? No. No. Uh, not really. Well, I've got sun cream. Uh, but Cara and Cara, I've just thought of something. Have you remembered your bucket and spade set? <gasps> yeah! Yeah! Go and get it. Go and get your bucket and spade for the beach. I got them. Yay. I just thought of something else as well. Also, guys, have you remembered your smile? Uh, yeah. That's the thing I did remember. I feel like that is the most cringiest thing I've said in 2023 so far. There we go. Yeah. We're in the lift. Yeah, we're going to go and get some breakfast first for this fam. And we've found the most beautiful spot to have breakfast. Um, well, it's really delicious. You and me haven't been there yet, have you? Because me and uh, no. Well, you know you have been there. Me and Hassan. Oh. This is actually the car that we used to have in Dubai before. When we lived here before. GMC Yukon. And then we've got a Lambo here. And a Lambo there. It's like Koa's favourite place ever. Do you like the Lambo, Koa? Yeah. I'm going to go down one day when they are a man. Yeah. yeah. Oh. I don't know if you heard that, but he said, I want to drive that one day when I'm a man. He also keeps talking about how he really wants to drill things when he's a man as well. But sometimes he says, sometimes he says like, <laughs> when he's angry with someone, he's like, when I'm a man, I'm going to drill your arm for that. And so I'm sort of like, no, come on. No, that's come from. He no. said, he went, I'm going to drill you when I'm a man. But I was like, I don't think he will. No, I don't think he quite understand, Koa. <laughs> but yes, he will drive a Lambo. Yeah. Usually the first stop in the morning on the way to breakfast is for a hot drink. And so our favorite one is actually called Arabica over here. So if you come to Dubai, this like, because all the time that we lived here before and we tried out pretty much everywhere, this was the best coffee and the best matcha of anywhere in Dubai. Right, let's cross the road. Looks amazing. <laughs> Thanks Thank a lot. You. Have a good day. See you later. Oh, wow. Right, now let's go to the fun place. Yay! Fun place! Yeah. We're going to be going to Oakberry, which is there, but the music's really loud, so YouTube won't like that. So we're actually going to go somewhere else because there's loads of places what do the same breakfast what we want. You can prob probably guess what we're going to get, else, can't you? Well, what we're going to get begins with A, we're second letter C. Most yeah. people mispronounce it. Apparently you pronounce it in this particular way, which you're now going to roast me and say it's not this way, but it's acai. Yeah. Well, we've been there before, but we'll go back another day. But we're now going to be getting to try somewhere else. And I just mentioned this place. The dance called Mondo. Mondi? It has a kids Mondo. Area. It's got a kids area, and they what have loads the of smoothie bowls in here, like avocado yeah, ones, and stuff like that. Guess what? There's a special kids area for you both. You want to come and see it? Look. I feel like they're really tired because normally they'd be so enthusiastic. Yay! Look at this. Is this fun? Yes. Tractors. Yay. Right, okay, I think they're really happy now. I just don't think they understood that there's a playroom in here. When I said there's a playroom, I don't think that they were registering what I'm saying. Because in the UK, you don't really get playrooms and restaurants, but in Dubai, you do, which is really, really nice for families. And in Germany, you remember when we yeah. were in Berlin, all the kinder cafes, yeah. yeah? Do you know what? I'd really love to open up a plant-based restaurant with a play area in it. For, it's like family-friendly, yeah. yeah, vegan-friendly, exactly. or healthy food. Like, it just like ticks all the boxes. Yeah. A chocolate kiss is better than summer with steam. I think it's saying, right, this is a French restaurant, isn't it, I think. And it's saying that a man with skis, like a rich man with skis, is, isn't as good as some chocolate. That's my interpretation of it. 
<laughs> we all know your interpretation to so always completely different. What's yours then, Mr. I, I, have, I have no idea. Mr. Smarty Tan. A chocolate kiss is better than summer with skis. Oh, summer with skis. Oh, I thought it said someone. The summer front menu. makes a bit more sense. A date without cake is just a meet up. Oh. I agree. You've got to have cake. Sienna knows how much I love cake, don't you? Yep. That's my weakness, isn't it? Yeah. Darren's weakness is cigars, mine is cake. Right, so what's on the menu, sir? What? This? What? You become magnetic to women when you eat here, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> really? Well, you're not eating here then. <laughs> what's that? Wow. Money. Right, so what's on the menu? We've what got have we got? Acai bowl, we've got <gasps> avocado oh. smoothie bowl, we've got millet or oat porridge, raspberries, and we've got chia pudding. They look good. They look amazing. Yeah, yeah. Them, they? They what are really you going to get, Sienna? Uh, I'm going to get the acai smoothie bowl. Look how yeah. good that is. Even what are you going to get, Mia? Avocado smoothie bowl. What are you going to get? Just so you know, when you keep talking behind it, it can't hear you properly because the mic's pointing towards me, so try Probably to put your, put your head to the side. What, what are you going to order then? <laughs> try to go like this, look. What are you going to order? <laughs> what I'm going to order is... Oh, hang on. Can they just see my chin at the moment, or is this yeah, all right? It looks like you've got a double chin. Is it like, <laughs> What I'm thinking about ordering... By the way, the audio is going to be so crisp for all you headphone users right now. <laughs> right. So what are you going to order, Chin Man? I'm going to order the acai bowl. I kind of want all of them, but I'm going to get that acai bowl. Why don't you just order all these? Get some for the babies. Eat. Shall I get them acai or avocado? Or millet? Or chia? I reckon they'll probably like the porridge or the chia. Porridge. I wish they could see how you're talking behind it. <laughs> Okay, watch your space and then you'll find out what we've ordered because if not, this scene will go on for 20 minutes. See ya! So for starters, for our breakfast, yes, we're having starters. It's just a drink. It's for a drink. How's this that starter? You're ruining my vibe. I have got cucumber and ginger juice. Oh, it's delicious. You look very refined. I know, this looks, look how beautiful that is. It's all sliced cucumber. Gorgeous. Wrapped all around the outside, Someone the inside. You. No, I got. Oh, I didn't order. I got him that one as well. So I know. Mm. I got my favourite drink ever, iced tea. Got lemon this time, and I'm just watching everyone else drink it what because I'm get? waiting for mine to come. I'm being patient. What? I'm getting one for Instagram. Someone's getting a picture of that Instagram. I am so happy with this choice. Look how colourful that is. You have to try it. Mm. Green avocado smoothie bowl. Oh, it's so creamy. Oh, mm. oh that's delicious. It's smooth, isn't it? Mm. So good. I love having little fresh fruits on holiday because it really hydrates you. It's really tasty and healthy, and you feel good for the rest of the day. It's for sunburn. Like, you don't feel like you just want to lay down. Oh, look, who's is this one? Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. It's amazing. Thank you. I got the acai smoothie bowl. And look at all the fruits in this. Wow, there's even passion fruit, my faves. Mm. Oh, me! Oh, wow. Wow. wow, beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, that's Come with your chia puddings here. Should I eat the? Should I eat the chili? Yeah. If you want. What do I get for it? <laughs> Nothing. Um, a pat on the back. You get a pat on my drink. I make your certificate. Thank you. Wow. That's got to be the poshest porridge I've ever seen in my life. Thank you. Thank you man. Looks so good. That's wow. Nice. Yeah. Ah. Sarah, this is definitely fit for a king, this breakfast, isn't what it? What is that? Dates. Anyways. Just slowly watching Mia start sweating in the corner of the screen. Thank you, bye. Bye bye. Oh, that was the most beautiful breakfast ever. And what made it really nice was that the kids were playing happily, not yeah. climbing on the tables and throwing <laughs> knife yeah, and forks yeah. on the floor, emptying all, well, like, thing they grinding all the salt. You know where they get the knife and they put their hand on the table and they go do, 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 yeah. like that when they yeah. always do that. Karma's feeling a little bit tired, so she's having a little nap in the push chair. Oh, oh no. Koa. This keeps happening. Every time one of them sleeps, the other one does their best to wake them up. So now, as part of our vacation morning routine, is that we are going to head to the beach because why else do Brits go on holiday? For the beach. For the beach. <laughs> at the beach guys and it's so funny because this is actually the beach we used to always go to when we lived here it's very pretty are you gonna go in the sea today sienna 
Yeah, but I'm not going to get my hair wet because I wash it this day. I can't be comfortable to wash it again. Are you coming on me? Or are you? It's, no, I'm not scared. It's just I've got trainers on and I'm carrying your bag out of the fist fab. I'm a bit stuck. Okay. <laughs> Don't wear trainers when you're going to go to the beach. I did literally tell her, I was like, why are you wearing trainers? She's like, it's because my flip flops don't match my dress. I feel like I'm going to see. It's like really, really, really hot today, but I don't want to get my hair wet. If you guys didn't see our latest physio video when we were on our way here, we were just saying about how this is the island that we actually used to live on. So it's called Blue Waters Island, so we really should make a video where we go over there and actually like go back to exactly where we used to live and look and see how it's changed and all that sort of stuff. So keep your eyes peeled on at Physia and we should be doing that during the course of the rest of our trip because we've still got like six days left of our trip, so plenty of time for exploring, yeah. isn't there? Ooh. Going in the sea today, Koa. I'm going, I'm going in the sand. In the sand, all right then. Go run and jump in the water. Go on then. Yeah. I've got makeup on. Oh. <laughs> It's like the very rare day of me having makeup on, so I kind of want to keep it nice even though I am sweating. Let's have a little paddle though, shall we? Yeah. We'll see how it goes in it. Bring back so many memories because I actually used to take a walk along here every morning. It's so nice. And there's all the fish in the water. Look, check this yeah, out. That's so cute. I hope you guys can see that. I hope it's in focus, but the water is just full of loads and loads of fish. It's so refreshing. Yeah. Uh, can you remember mum's really important list and how I answered no to everything? Well, I did go and get my swimming costume and I brought my shirt, but I still forgot sun cream. Mum's got sun cream, hasn't she? I know, but I can't really be bothered to put it on, so I'm just gonna keep my shirt on. So that's my- Okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. I'll do my makeup and my hair. Okay, I buddy. I What's that, it. Sienna? Seaweed. Seaweed? Yeah. The water's nice and chilled now, but by the way, when you are here in the summer months, this water is like really hot bath water. So there isn't even escape an escape to like the cold water either. So basically winter months in the UK is the perfect time to come to Dubai. Just because it's really nice and warm, but then the water's cold. By the way, guys, can you remember when me and Mia went on those like water boot Don't things? Me. <laughs> can you remember? Like the edit made it look like Mia was having quite a good time, but if you read in, my book, in you reality, the true story she of what absolutely happened. hated it. It was so funny. Because she'd keep she was just trying to you wish the time away, didn't you? Literally, I like tried swimming up to the jet ski and being like can I like kind of stop now and he's like five more minutes I'm like no please no more minutes she was like not I think you had to like press the thing to do the water yeah, out didn't you so she'd thing. just do it really tiny amounts and then just slap down in the water Basically, again it was over and over again you have to be really skilled to be able to balance on it and uh the more you balance on it the higher you go so the more you're gonna fall really hard slap into the salty water it's just, just you I needed you needed some seat. ab muscles, mate, didn't you? Look, I can rock climb, I can skateboard, but any time I've tried a sport involving the sea, it just it's not my cup of tea. Well, we could happily vlog all day, but that's going to be the end of our morning routine. It's like the middle of the morning now, but make sure to go subscribe to at Physia to see some more of our adventures in Dubai. And then we've got another big video coming on this channel in about another week's time, haven't we? Next yeah. video. Oh. It's going to be a fun day out in Dubai. We're going to go to some yep. really epic. I can't wait because I haven't got to do I'm it yet because I've always been pregnant. <laughs> See you in the next one. Bye. Bye.